Hey guys, Cat Demon here. Uh, back today again with another video uh, about the ones that Spirit Halloween has released on their websites. Uh, we're gonna get right back into it. Uh, last time I did the ghost face and this time we're gonna be doing Mr. Howl. foot Mr. Howl. Uh, now his video is going to be right here and we're going to take a look at it. Mr. Howl, uh, as they state in the title of him, is seven feet tall, um, which is, you know, always kind of cool. Uh, them being tall, towering props are always cool. He is $299 on their website. That's pretty pricey, so let's get right into it. Mr. Howl is this very tall, hunchback, almost werewolf uh, with these giant, giant hands. Uh, that's the first thing I probably noticed about him. He raises them up and down, and as well as I think his torso and head. I'm not quite sure how range how what kind of range of movement he has but i know it's all up and down his, he also howls kind of like uh some other props we've seen before uh, i'm not gonna lie i think he's even with this new kind of movement i don't think he's anything crazy for his size i feel like they're trying to get away with a little too much um but uh i do think it is kind of cool his motion i don't i feel like they didn't put a lot of creativity into yeah. him uh the, the way that he looks is kind of decent. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I feel like he's a bit bulky and awkward. I think the jaw is uh, that they presented in the video of him was way too weird looking. If you look at some of the stock photos on online though, it looks much better, which I don't think it's gonna look like that in real life. Uh, they always, you know, ch it always completely changes from what they have in the stock photos. That's like early, what like the early prototypes look like. I mean, if you look at like the Nightmare Harvester from a couple years ago, uh, in their video of him, he looked completely different with a completely different face. And then they completely changed him when he actually came to stores. Uh, I'm not complaining. I still love him a lot, but just pointing that out. So for what he does, uh, I'm not gonna lie, uh, $299 is not worth it. I'd say maybe they could get away with possibly two fifty, but three hundred dollars for a tall, where another just a tall generic werewolf. I feel like there are better options out there. I don't know if they still have them on their you know website, but <clears throat> I myself have a werewolf animatronic that uh, the Howling Werewolf. Uh, I think he's a much better version of this guy. Um, not as much movement, but like way cooler because he's bigger lengthwise. I think it, I think it makes more of an impression. Uh, I think he was designed a lot better uh, than this guy. I feel like they just wanted to put in another generic werewolf. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not saying, you know, he's not cool in his own way, but he's not. Uh, he's pretty lame. Uh, I can't see people, you know, picking him over some of the other animatronics they have this year. Honestly, for $300, it's just not worth it. I feel like if he doesn't get like a price cut, I know sometimes if an animatronic's not doing well, but they want to keep selling it or they have like a license agreement still, they'll, they'll cut it up. They'll cut up the price just a little bit. Uh, but I don't, uh, I don't think we're going to be seeing this guy next year, honestly, uh, unless he sells well, unless people really like him. Maybe I'm just, you know, maybe I'm just not into it, but, uh, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of werewolf props myself, but you know, if they're good, I'm going to get them. And this guy, uh, he's just nothing special. I do like the unique movement though. That is obviously the one plus, uh, which I've already said. Um, I think the up and down motion is kind of interesting. We haven't seen that with a werewolf prop. Uh, not saying it's great, but it's definitely unique because uh, that seems to be their theme this year, unique animatronics that we've never seen like before, uh, which obviously I'm loving that aspect of this year. Um, I think it's going to be a great year, but this guy, I don't think he's going to be adding much to uh, that saying there. So that's pretty much all I have to say about Mr. Howell. 
Um, also, I will say I'm not loving the names they gave this year of some of the animatronics. I'll be talking about them later, but I'll be talking about all the other animatronics I've released in the next videos, so get ready to look out for those. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below what you thought of the video.